how to build a e-portfolio with Wix as a beginner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own e-portfolio or a online portfolio using Wix for free as a absolute beginner. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to log on to your Wix account. If you don't have one, you can just sign up using your email. And once you have signed up, this is going to be like your basic kind of dashboard where you're going to be able to manage your websites. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on create new site over here and we're going to begin creating our portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a portfolio as a artist. So from here, we're going to choose the Wix platform. Make sure to choose the Wix platform, not the Editor X, because the Editor X is for people that are a bit used to creating websites and have a bit more of a know-how. And for beginners, Wix is better. Now, after that, we're going to enter portfolio. So we're creating a portfolio website and we're just going to click on next over here and we're going to start browsing the different templates. So I'm going to skip this section because we don't really know what we want to add yet and I'm just going to click on edit a template so you can use the ADI as well where the Wix is going to ask you a couple of questions and then you can answer them and then they're going to create your own customized template but I just like to browse the templates that are available and then pick one out. Now you can also go with a blank template so a blank template is something like this so they basically just provide you with a layout and you can enter your own like information but if you want you can go into the all template section and browse specifically portfolio templates so it's portfolio or cb whatever you might want to call it so if we search for templates over here we can search for portfolio and once you search for portfolio it's going to show you the different portfolio templates that are available and what i'm going to do is actually i want to create like the artist portfolio and you can see this is like a photographer's portfolio a makeup artist portfolio fashion designer filmmaker illustrator so depending on the profession that you're in you can choose a template accordingly and i want to create like a artist portfolio and this is actually such a beautiful little portfolio it's just such a nice little template i'm just going to click on edit over here and i'm going to begin editing this template now you can see that my template has been loaded over here and it is such a cute little template now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start customizing it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this text and i'm just going to write uh, Tina's art gallery or maybe I'm gonna change the font because I think that the font is a bit overbearing so I'm gonna go with this kind of font and I'm gonna write Tina's art gallery if you don't want to directly write portfolio you can write something along the lines of art gallery or whatever kind of industry you're in so I don't want to make it you know uh, directly say that it's a portfolio now after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove Tina's from this text so I'm just going to remove Tina's and I'm just going to write art gallery and I'm going to move these sections above like this and I'm going to move this section as well. So I'm just going to move, wait, I think I'm going to keep that over there and I'm just going to select this section and I'm going to move all these up over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this, move that as well like so and i'm gonna move this section above it says by alexander on the template so instead of alexander i'm just gonna replace it into by tina like this and then you have your home page so you can add anything you want onto your home page basically so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to actually take this text block i'm going to do Control c and Control v and then I'm going to place it down below. And once I have placed it down below, I'm just going to write like an emotional kind of post. So I have been passionate about art for as long as I can remember. And you know, you can go on and add anything else you want onto your post. I would actually like to write in like an entire paragraph about that. But I'm just going to skip that because I'm pretty sure it's going to be boring for you guys. Now, after you have designed your homepage, you have these different pages over here. So you can just click on these pages. So it's going to have a drop down menu and then you can just click Click on manage pages over here and then you have your about section within the about section you have your resume you have your gallery you have your contact and you have your blog so I don't want a blog page so I'm just gonna delete that over here and once I have deleted that I have a contact and gallery page and then I have my resume so I'm gonna go on to my resume page and you can see over here this is like the resume page and you're gonna edit all of this to fit your own actual work experience or your actual work portfolio so you're gonna enter all of these uh, details by yourself so you can just click on the text over here double click and then you can add tina baker 
and you can add you know whatever kind of you know experience you have you're going to add all of that stuff and to remove images what you're going to do is you're just going to select the image once you select the image you're just going to click on change image over here and once you do that you can upload your own image so you can click on upload media over here or if you want to use any stock image you can click on the explore ones so you can take one from media from wix shutterstock or unsplash as well so like this you're going to enter all of your own personal details and then you can switch between pages and add your own art gallery or you know your own work portfolio whatever it might be you're going to upload your own work one by one so what i'm going to do over here is that on my own page instead of writing that paragraph i want to add an image so i'm just going to click on the add section and you can see you have all of these different options so you can add different uh, blogs you can add lists you can add boxes or interactive little uh, sections as well but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the box section i'm going to add one of these little container boxes so i'm just going to add this container box and once i add this container box i'm going to place it right around over here and then i'm going to resize the box like a rectangle over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add and I'm going to click on image and I'm going to use a free Wix image and I'm going to add a picture of a person. So I'm going to search for a woman and I'm going to add that like as if it were my own picture. So I'm just going to use that as a sample picture. And then whatever, depending on the kind of portfolio you're creating, you're going to add your image accordingly. So I'm just going to add this simple image over here so after i have added this to my home page what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add and i'm going to click on button and maybe instead of button i would like to add a video and music so i can just click on video and you can add videos as well now i'm going to skip that and i'm going to actually add a box and within the box i want to add you know some of the highlights of my career so i'm just going to take one of these little boxes and then I'm going to scroll down and find one that I like. No, this is pretty big. I don't like this. I'm going to go back into my add section. And maybe instead of adding like a box, I can just go into the decorative section. And you can use one of these to link to the highlights of your work. But I'm going to go back into the boxes. And I'm going to search for something that's cute and interactive. And I don't want a hover box. So I'm just going to go into boxes and container boxes or themed boxes i think i'm going to go with like these container boxes so i can add like these circular little boxes and then i could add some text within to write the highlights of my career so you can just copy and paste these and write you know the some of your best work or you can link to your best work or link to your website or your art gallery so that was it for today after you have done all of that you're just going to click on publish and then once your site has been saved you're just going to wait for this to publish. Once it has been published, you're just going to click on view site over here. And now your website is published and your e-portfolio is ready for you to be able to link to your job application. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.